well, good evening, good evening. I feel like I should be saying that with a uh, an accent. So it is 7 p.m. on Thursday night, East Coast time. And uh, what is it, 4 p.m. back uh, on the Pacific, on the Great Pacific. So, hey, Rhonda, how are you? Look who is on time for a change. I love that. That is so cute. Hey, listen, um, tonight we're going to be focusing on adding the button uh, to the Bright Lights Vega Nights beaded bracelet kit. That's an awful lot to say in one, one sentence. Um, and I'm super excited about this. It's been a four part series. And so there is part one where I warp the loom and then part two, where I added the base that would be adding the, um, eight O seed beads to the warps. And then in part three, I started, uh, to add all of the fun Oh, let me put this under here on the over, overhead camera. And while we were off air, I did end up finishing this. So a couple of things I wanted to point out about this stuff right here is if you get done and you feel like, oh gosh, you know, I wish I would have added some bigger loops in this area, just for giggles. Like if I had to point something out for myself, I'm just pointing that out. You can go back at any point and add more loops and more beads, whether it's on the loom or not. So for instance, if it was off the loom, you had finished your bracelet, you were wearing it and you didn't really maybe care for the way it was wiggling or looking, you can always go back and hand sew some more loops and beads into the project. That's what I absolutely love about this. So again, this was part three. This is where I show you how to make um, the beads. Look at this one right here. Isn't that so cool? How it's standing up on, and this is, all these beads are in the kit. Okay, so there was a plethora, <laughs> a plethora of check glass beads, a lot of gemstones. I put some of the aqua jasper in there along with some, um, I think it was like a quartz, I, all the kits were different when it came to the gemstones, except for the Jasper was consistent, but look at that flower. Isn't that just so stinking cool? So what I did there, let me just, whoa, I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> let me back out of here. So I put a seed bead. So when I came up with my needle, I grabbed a seed bead and then went back down through that hole. So it just looks like a little flower. What else do we got going on in here? That's some um, daggers gemstones, lots and lots of glass beads, just really, really, really fun. And again, I kept the first row blank and the second row, and you could just see that it is extremely chunky. So um, I want to show you, there are a few kits left. So let me just go over that really quick. So, you know, I, there were a couple that sold before we went on air. So you might want to go check those out if you still want one. These are the 8-0s. Well, you get a tube of the 8-0s, a tube of the 11-0s, and you also get all of these glass beads. There's just like, again, tons and tons of check, uh, check glass beads, and then you get the button that I'm going to show you how to sew on tonight. I put some bugle beads in there for giggles. Uh, you can certainly use those to add a little fringe. You can see all the jasper that's in there. That is really fun, the aqua jasper and some other little gemstones. So it's a really substantial uh, kit. And I think there are maybe six left. So you might want to go over there and check that out. Everyone that's ordered one, except for the orders that came in today, they're all shipped. In fact, uh, Leanne was telling me that hers showed up today. So that's good news. And so um, Leanne will be able to go back and actually start work on her kit. So this is how it comes one of my jewel loom blue envelopes and so yep that's on the home page of the jewelloom.com website and let me just show you for giggles i'm going to bring in the crown i love the crown bead board it's so beautiful so it's sold individually but it's also in the large wisdom warrior kit but look at all of the beads look at all of the beads that i still have left over from the bright lights Vega Nights kit. That's a lot. 
And then I still have these ados that I'm going to actually be using some of them to sew, um, sew the button on. But yeah, it's a, it's a, I always try to give more. <laughs> I always try to give more. So, okay. So I'm going to get this out of the way. And I forgot to take a sippy before I got on. And it's just agua. Not so fria. <laughs> All right. Um, when we left off, I don't know, Joan, do you want to, it, will we lose my voice if you just go to the overhead? So we've got a, a shaking of the head. Whoop. I got to get my, my, where's my. So can you make me smaller by chance? Okay, testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Can you hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you can. Okay, shake and two thumbs up. Awesome sauce. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready to cut uh, the beaded bracelet off of the loom. And as I've shown you before, when I'm cutting the bracelets or anything off of the loom, because the jewel loom is warped right now, I don't want it to expand and bounce. And so I will protect my project by holding it in my hand. And then I kind of cup around to the loom. And so I'm holding everything together as I start to snip. <laughs> Could feel that expand. And then I'm going to cut that off. All right. Now I'm still... I actually still have my needle and thread. I didn't want to waste that. And I'm going to use it to sew on um, one end of the clasp. So we're just going to kind of try to keep that to the side here and not cut it off on accident. That would really be a major bummer. So we can't really do the technique where we pull um, the warps because we made the loops. And so there's all kinds of stuff going on with the loops. So they're not going to pull because they're, they're, really in place. So there's a couple different things that you can do. You could literally put a needle um, back onto every warp, re-thread it, and then sew it back into the base. Or you can tie some knots. So for time's sake, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and do some um, knots. And we'll hide those with those ADO seed beads. So I'm just very carefully, I'm still just going to be very gentle when I'm tying as I don't want to distort the warps. And, and I also just, I'm going to get a little more light on the situation. So hold on here. There we go. Okay, now I might be able to see. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just taking two warps here and very carefully I'm just tying and I'm going right to the base. And I did want to mention that if you've not purchased the Jewel Loom Inspirations book, it is phenomenal. I mean, the step-by-step -step photos, the projects that are in there, it's just, it's a it's such a great book and it has step-by-step -step illustrations of how to sew the clasp on. And I love having that visual. I mean, I love the video how to, but if you're like me, I also like to have those images. So I would highly recommend you get the book. You could check with your local bookstore. They might be able to order it for you. I know Barnes and Noble can order it for you if it's not in their shop and you can also get it on Amazon every day. So um, I don't carry it in the jewel loom shop, but it, it's just easier, especially like if you're, you know, go to a bookstore and, and see what they can. You know, I like to support the little bookstores, but by all means, I'm beyond grateful that Amazon and, and Barnes and Noble have it. So again, I'm just making tiny little knots here.
<laughs> my fingers do not want to work today. So I hope you all are having a great week. I can't believe it's Thursday already. It seems like, like I was just here, like we were just here. I've been working a lot to get my home in order. I have promised my friends and my therapist, <laughs> that sounds so dramatic, that I would hang something on the wall. Um, I have not done that yet, but I have staged things. And so I'm very proud of that. I feel like that's a very big, very big moment for me. Um, yeah, it's just been a little, it's super cool. I love it. This apartment is ginormous. There's room for everything. The hallway is like a stinking bowling alley. It's so big. And so, oh, great. Rhonda says she has my book and it has some beautiful pieces. Yeah. And I love the step-by-step -step illustrations. So I'm just going to focus here. I don't want to cut too, too close. And then, so I probably, um, after I get everything sewed on, I might just go back in there with um, a toothpick and some white glue. And so what we're going to do now is I'm going to take the needle and thread. I'm going to go back through that second row. Okay. Cause I want to come up through the first. And if you're just joining, I just want to make sure that you know that this is the needle and thread that I ended with on my project. So I never cut it off. I never rethread, rethreaded. Um, I just left it in place. And so I'm going to get my Ados out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> trying to get that lid off there. Okay. And let's just get these. This really be, there we go. Okay. And I'm going to open up my little, um, this is a three button. And you just want to make sure that however you're, you know, however you're sewing it on that both backs are in the right direction. So we'll, we'll do this, we'll call this the top and the top finished part's gonna be laying on the bottom so that when it comes together, it'll be the finished pretty part. So I'm gonna let that lay right there and I'm gonna take the needle and I'm gonna come up and into that first bead and out and in between the first and second. And again, this is why I love the illustrations on the book because the shots are super tight. Now, if you um, if you put your bracelet on after you took it off the loom and you were like, ah, poop, how did I make it too short? And you were like, how in the world am I going to get some extra length? I know I'm going to get like three quarters of an inch maybe with the button. What you could do is add, you know, more than say two ados like if you had to, you could, you know, you could add like four and it probably wouldn't look too, too weird or anything, but that's a way that you could get some extra length if you needed to. So I'm just going to pick up these two ados and I'm going to come through the back of the hole on the button here. Okay. And then I'm going to go back through the ados. Okay, so you see this. And again, these are just some, I swear we took so many shots. All right, and then I'm going to pull that together so that it's nice and tight. All right. And then I'm going to go on the right side of that second bead and out and in between the third and that fourth bead. And you definitely just want to take your time so that you can focus, make sure that, you know, everything, nothing is, you know, getting tied up. Again, I'm picking up two beads. I'm going to come through the back side of the buttonhole and then I'm going to go back through the 
babes. And I'll give that a nice pull. And then I'm gonna go through and all the way out. And then I'm gonna pick up two beads. And, oh, missed the hole. <laughs> so it's pretty easy. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not, it's just a little tedious. Um, and you just wanna make sure, you know, that you're getting through the hole there. Oh, see, <laughs> what happens when you miss it? <laughs> they fell out. Okay, one, two. <laughs> That's good, though. I like when little things like that happen. You can see that uh, what will happen if, if you don't make it through the hole there. Okay, there we go. And again, it's going to go. And very carefully, I'm just going to give it a nice little tug. I'm going to go to the right side of the bead and then all the way out. Oh, that looks really nice. Let me bring that up to the camera, okay? So again, pretty simple. Um, you know, again, if you felt like you needed to add some length you could add some more ados so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to turn this around and i really want to make sure that it's nice and secure so i'm going to go through that second row and then i'm going to come back through And here's a great example, too, like how I was saying earlier, that if for some reason you felt like, gee, I wish I would have put some more loops in a particular area, like right now, you could totally do that if you felt like that was the case. I'm fine, but I just want to let you know that you do have the freedom to add more loops in certain places of your bracelet if you felt like there just weren't enough. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back through. You know what it is, this slide too, is helping and not helping all in the same breath. So you just gotta make sure that you're going through the beads and then you're actually coming uh, from the back side. Yep, yeah, okay. Get a little shiny in there. So this is gonna really give me the confidence that, you know, it's really, whoops, really nice and secure. So I think that I did not, let me see here, I feel like I feel like the illusion of, was I on this coming from the back? It looks like it. Well, this one just might be really, really nice and tight. Ah, that time it felt better. And then I'm gonna go all the way out.
yeah, this is feeling very, very nice and secure. And then I'll go to the right side of this last bead here. Oh yeah, that's really good. Really, really good. Okay. And then I'm gonna take the needle and thread We'll just go through a couple more times for giggles. You know, some, you know, could I, could I just weave this until I run out? Yeah. And that's fine. You know, I do like to give the um, looped, the looped bracelets a little bit more. Come on, buddy. A little bit more um, sturdiness with some extra extra thread. Okay. There we go. So you could definitely weave the entire piece if you wanted to. And I'm liking the extra, um, I can feel it. Like I, I, my bracelet, I feel like I did a lot of loops. <laughs> so it's pretty substantial. So again, we're just going back and forth. I mean, pretty good, but get this out of the way. I feel like I got a few parties going on. And just Really? What is happening? These beads are so light. Okay, I'm going to call it a day on that then because <laughs> I can, it's getting hard to see them. All right, one more for giggles. Let's see if it works. If it doesn't, I'm giving in. Yeah, the needle is just going everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come out in the middle here and get my needle under some of these warps. And I'm just making like a little knot. It's really hard to see, but I am on I am actually into that warp there. So get as tight as I can. And so, yeah, there's our one end. Oh, that is so nice and sturdy. I'm going to have a lot of confidence when I'm, when I'm closing that for sure. So I might, I'm definitely going to go in here and clean up this, um, these little knots and uh, probably put some, you know, I could, I could even if I wanted to at this point, I would, I would almost be tempted to go ahead and go in there and add some loops and kind of cover that up. And that's just me being like, I want it to be really clean. So, so that's a, you know, because we did leave that empty, but now that I'm going back here, I'm not, um, 
you know, I mean, it's not the biggest deal breaker, but I don't like it. So I'm probably going to go back and I'm going to add some loops on top of theirs to really hide those knots and uh, afterwards even give it a little touch with some with some glue. So, yeah. So, um, you know, the next the next uh, side or the opposite side is the same thing. We're just going to. But but again, let me just show you for giggles. Um, let me see if I can get this needle rethreaded. So I take the flat nose pliers and I smush the wildfire. It really helps to um, get that wildfire into the eye of the needle for me and uh, for you. Maybe you just are lucky enough to make it happen. So yeah, see how that, that just kind of went on there. So it's really short. Um, but you know what you could do like with this one you got to come come down and then you're going to want to find See, I like the idea of just weaving it down into and over. Oh, except for I missed the. These beads are so light, it's a little hard to see. Yeah. All right. I did that wrong because I got crisscrossed over here and that's going to drive me insane. So let me do a redo. Hopefully it goes on as easy as it did. <laughs> of course, now this is not going to Oh my gosh, come on. So we may just be tying, <coughs> excuse me. All right, one more time and if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna tie these bad boys. Okay, screw it. <laughs> got no patience <laughs> so we're just gonna come over here and this one's already down here though dang it hold on I gotta get my wildfire out my burner so as I was saying you could certainly re thread your needle and weave these back in. Or you can do these little knots and then try to hide them. If we push them this way. It's like my hair when my hair won't behave. Was that Brenda? Hey, Brenda. So I'm just very carefully gonna cut those. And so then we would, and then just remember, you know, this needs to be, you need to make sure that you sew the, you know, the next one on so that the front of it is facing, you know, your mat. 
I don't know if I can get this darn needle threaded. <laughs> Let me try. Let me try. Usually this is like a sealed deal for me. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Okay. Come on, buddy. Don't give me. <laughs> there we go. All right. So I'm going to, I feel like that first row needs a little love. So I'm going to come in here really quick and give it an extra layer of security before I start trying to sew on the other end. Oops. So then we're just going to do the same thing where I'm going to push these down though. So it's just the same exact steps. This end is a little more wonky for some reason. going to be doing a lot of reinforcement on this end, I can tell. darn bead color. Why do I love this Rosaline so much? It is not eye friendly <laughs> when I'm trying to keep everything so nice and tight. Almost got it. Yeah, I definitely got to go back and reinforce those rows. is your least favorite part well uh hopefully you know i feel like i sometimes people are like why do you just so use hemp and so on a button you know use a wood button 
but I mean, I love, I love the look of these, you know, these nice buttons, but it is a lot more work, but you know, it is what it is. So if you're going to sew them on, then, you know, you just have to have patience and I can kind of barely see what I got going on here. So I'm not going to um, cut this off because I feel like off camera, I really got to get back in here and do some reinforcements. And basically what that means is like, I want to come back in and I want to go back through those two, you know, the two beads that are, that are sewn on. I want to go back through them a few more times. And so, yeah, so um, we could just, we can do a little faux try on though. Better fit. <laughs> After all that, oh my gosh, look at, is that so, that flower and that leaf, they're just killing me. But look at all the different beads in this kit. And then you saw all the leftovers. Isn't this great? So, so fun. So yeah, so I'm going to leave it attached to the needle and the thread because when I can really get in there, I'm going to go back in and I feel like this end needs to be extra secure. And then I'm going to weave back through the bracelet just to, you know, just to make sure it's all good. So Joan, are you going to come on and show off what you did? She's like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> Are you gonna do I, it? I, 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 okay, you get you do that, and I'm gonna get mine too. Okay, okay. I'll wait till you're I'll here. Wait till you're here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I drop everything over here. They probably they have probably the have the the right 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 <laughs> Yay! Look at we're sisters. <laughs> yeah. Joan, that is spectacular. I <laughs> so now you're gonna wear that when you go to jewel school, right? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. I did not say <laughs> that's that. Okay, that's okay. Nobody tell. nobody tell. What? I just said nobody just said tell. tell. If you're going. If you're going. <laughs> that is really, really, really beautiful. So beautiful. I'm so glad that you put it on a blue hat. You said it's turquoise? Yeah. Yeah. But see, my camera is kind of It's so, wet. Yeah, it's, so, yeah, turquoise. it's turquoise. It's at, You did a great job. Let me see your backside. How you finished it? Ah, I did good. leather. leather. Nice. First time First I ever, time did, I ever that. did that. Wow. <laughs> I lost my I lost glue. I ran out of right glue. glue. And as soon as I got it glued together, I found my glue. My glue. <laughs> oh, my God. I am so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm ordering. I'm ordering more uh, high desert cats. Cats. I'm. I'm ordering more high desert cats. I, oh, yeah. oh, I, would, I, would, I really, <laughs> I really want a bracelet. bracelet. Yeah. With this part. With this part and yeah. then another, and then another one, that's, one that's, in that's in between. between. Yes. You know, you know, two, different two different styles. Yeah. And the earrings. Oh, my God. Well, I haven't decided, well, I haven't decided how, decided how, how I would do the earrings. Yeah, I figured yeah, I did I think the bracelet, bracelet first. first. Um, oh, then we can go with that part. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's definitely a segment in in this pattern that would lend itself to to some earrings, but I love it. So yeah, I gotta sit down wait, tonight wait. and be honest. Be honest. I was thinking, I was thinking, thinking of it with some bangles. Some bangles. Oh yeah, with some bugles. Yeah, yeah. Nice. That'd be sexy. Very sexy. <laughs> 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 That's Jewel Loom putting the ass in sexy, baby. Be sexy. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm show trying to up my hat, man. No, it's fantastic. I'm so excited. 
I really love that color. I need to I need to um, get more hats and more hat band patterns. Yeah. 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 So um, working on it. Um, this one, this I, one actually, I actually wore for a really, long, really time. long time. And then I started then to set up for a white one. one. And, I and I told Ginger, I said, I really want a turquoise cowboy hat. hat. She found she one in five, five minutes. minutes. Are you serious? <laughs> that woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna, I when I look for something for now, I'm just going to have her get for, for, for me. She has me looking for her beads, and I'll have her look for my hats. hats. <laughs> oh, my God. You two, quite the pair. Quite the pair. I love it. I can remember, I can remember day, day, uh, bring uh, something bring next to me to keep my ring key around my neck. Oh, you should have made a loomed lanyard or something. I, I think I, 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 I think I used last year or something. Yeah, yeah, you can. Um, that way, I'm gonna hand hand this hand 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 Oh my God, please, <laughs> please! Can you just not have your jewel loom shirt on? <laughs> oh gosh, look at what Robert and Karen sent me. You guys are gonna just die. I don't know what he's thinking. Look at this. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> oh my oh gosh. My it's a cutting, it's board. A cutting board. Yeah. Or like a sign. Like a sign. Oh, oh, no, oh, it's a cutting board. It's got little feet. Oh my gosh. Oh my it's gosh, gorgeous. gorgeous. And it's the jewel. It's the jewel loom logo. I would hang, I would hang, hang it on anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Is that not fantastic? That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So I think I think that's going to be in the shop soon. That's perfect. That's perfect. For you, for you, I need some. It's a short charcuterie. Oh, oh with okay. some so, so cheese. We can, we can, we can <laughs> eat while, eat watching, while you. watching you. We can off eat of our charcuterie board. board. Off our charcuterie <laughs> charcuterie board. Am I saying it correctly? Charcuterie, right? So now we so need now a hammer t T-shirt. Yes. I'm working on I'm working on apparel. Okay. Oh, okay. oh. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> T-shirts, jewel loom T-shirts. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. I got about I got twenty about totes. Ah, <laughs> uh, we don't. I, you know. I don't know. I know we need a carrying case, but that's a whole other bag of worms. Well, carrying well, case, case is different. Is different. Yeah. 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 I would carrying cases are. That. But I think t-shirts that say snarky things. Oh, that'd, like, oh, that'd be funny. Like warp me. <laughs> <laughs> just oh, have to do it on it. I warped. I warped. Because <laughs> you know that you're on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of something, but it's really, really bad. <laughs> I'm going to keep it. <laughs> yeah, I can tell yeah, you later. Tell you later, later you say it on, say it on, on, the, on the air. Oh, my God. I have to confess. I've been having it. Watch what I say. Watch what I say. Yeah, 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 there's been a couple times. He'll say something. Say something. Oh, I know. Like, with like, that's what he that's said. What he said. <laughs> I know. And you never know what, you know, what the channel's going to get upset over, too. That's the scary right. thing. <laughs> that's the scary thing. Hey, Lori, are you coming out to the big craft fair tomorrow or Saturday? Warp too, Warp tight. too tight. Warp too tight. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> What did she say? Yes. 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 Oh, good. I hope I hope to see you. Is she live, she live in New Jersey, Jersey, Jersey too? She lives by me somewhere. Yeah. It's, Laurie, it's are a sure you want that craziness, that craziness in your life. In your life? <laughs> <laughs> you know there's gonna be photos or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> um maria it's the pitman pitman craft fair apparently it's like ginormous i mean like i th i thought for giggles i would see if there was any space and they were they didn't even respond because they're that booked 
So I think they do it twice a year, if I'm not mistaken. But it's like big. It's like really big. He's sounds like, sounds like the Gatlinburg Fair. Fair. The, um, well, I yeah, I have I really have no idea like how. Oh, Lori's saying it's huge. Yeah, last night they had community appreciation, and there were they were cooking food for people and um marlon brando and i took some free photos and it was really sweet Aww. yeah it's a sweet little town so it's a welcome, so it's a welcome community, community, community for you, for you. For you. <laughs> yeah yeah it was all for me and marlon brando no it was for this dog okay this dog knows everybody this dog over here. except for i will tell you i have met the mayor of Pittman, and i have met the police chief of Pittman, and uh -huh. i have met uh -huh. A handful of police officers. <laughs> I won't ask how. <laughs> no, not because I. I just we walk like four times a day. Like we oh, walk. Okay. Oh, I have okay. to walk this dog a lot because there's not a backyard or anything. So, um, and and he's just. I don't know. You haven't met Marlon Brando in person. He is like. He's just we're, very we're friendly. friendly. He's just like the boss. He's like he's like a flipping Jersey boss. I bet they love his name too. Oh, they crack up. They crack <laughs> up. Yeah. They totally crack up. So anyway. But um, <laughs> hey, listen, there are, I think, three seats left in the September Creative Soul Workshop. And it is to die for. It is the vintage glass 10 by 20 um, MMs, double drilled. I also am, there's a vintage button in there. There's four strands of these glass pieces. Anyway, at the New York fashion show, my girlfriend, who is a stylist, she goes up there all the time and she does the makeup for the models. And so she was describing this necklace. She said it was all these glass squares and then it had this thing. And I was like, come up to my place. So I brought her up here and I showed her the pieces that are going into this month's Creative Soul Workshop. And she was like, how do I get one? <laughs> oh, wow. oh, wow. I was like, oh, I said, I can't wait, I can't to, wait see to see it. It's so beautiful. And I'm adding, believe it or not, you guys, all of the beads I bought in the Czech Republic in April never made it to the shop because they got, they got here and then... I was like, oh, I think I'm going to do this thing where I'm going to go drive across the country. <laughs> so you didn't bother, so you didn't bother to come back with that? No. So the Creative Soul members are going to get first dibs um, in their projects. I'm going to try to do a lot of designing with it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's two ginormous boxes. So anyway, I'll share what I can, but... <laughs> <laughs> If you want in, you better get in. But then I'm coming to the craft fair on Saturday. What did she say? We're coming there tomorrow to shop to bring some of my jewelry and then going to the pub. Oh, I think I'll be at the pub. I have a seat now at the pub. <laughs> oh, you have, oh, your, you have your own bar stool? No, no, not that. No, I just, Marlon Brando and I, because we walk so much, we'll like be out, you know, we're out front and stuff. Sitting outside. <laughs> Sitting outside, and I, I said, I have some of my Chardonnay, please. I'd like the Clou de Blue. <laughs> I was just thinking, you're probably sitting out there with a police officer. 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 Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> no, they're babies. They're babies. <laughs> they're all youngins. Uh, so you have to go to their bosses. They're all married. They're all yeah, it's all right. It's all right. I got my girl power. <laughs> uh, what kind of dog do you have, Lori? When is she still there? Still there? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, she just said that. So, anyway, there are some amazing shops on this street. Oh, he's a Burn Oh, Burn that's right. Brando loves that, those that, flipping dogs. What's a Burma? Is it a Burmese and a, a big poodle? 
Oh, your dog. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. Aww. Well, I look forward to seeing you and I appreciate all of you that uh, watch tonight. I know sewing on the button can be very tedious, but um, you know, you can also work with the hemp and then add one of the wood buttons, you know, that's or, 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 or don't on, on the last few rows and slide. Slide. Slide slide class. Class. Yes. Yes, exactly. You could totally do that. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> I feel I like, know, I, I, a, I, I, feel like I get a lot of heat. I feel like I get a lot of heat for not sh sewing on the buttons. Like I, oh, I, feel, really? I, feel, I feel, I feel a little heat from people, Aww. not not our people, but um, and I'm sure it's heat that's applied to myself. Right, but you um, might be, you might be thinking bigger, 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 bigger than it is. is. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Some some my head. Head. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know what? The thing of it is, it's always good to know that there are options. You can sew on a button. You can use a slider clasp. You can use a ribbon clasp. Although I would not right, recommend right. the ribbon clasp with these chunky monkey. Beaded it's bracelet. A heavier it's a heavier bracelet. bracelet. Yeah. Yes, I would say slider clasp. You probably would be fine, um, as long as you really reinforce the ends. Sewing on the button clasp would be obviously great. Um, and then if you wanted to work with hemp and then add a wood button, you could do that as well. Remember, Remember that, that one that one we, that we, we, that we, we created the creative box. box. Um, made, uh, made, made like the end, the end, and then so the Yeah, I mean, there's several. Probably I know just that, I know that bracelet. Yeah, probably need to take all the ending techniques and just do like. I do. I have do a, have a. Um, um, uh, you know what? You know what? what, what do you call those things? Are things are YouTube, YouTube, a what? That you can, that go, you can like, go like. Say you want to so just look at look at our jewelry projects. Project. What do they, they call those six? things? Let me look. Let me look. Beginner jewel. <laughs> no, you know, no, you, yeah, know you, yeah, say, you say. It's you something know, I, 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 I. The categories. Category. Oh, the category. Yeah, yeah. There is a there category, is a category for, for ending projects. projects. Okay, so, is this so, that game, wait, wait. Alex? So Alex, I'll take is, endings. Do as I have time, time, time is time is clips, clips from shows, from shows for the ending project. project. Yes, that's a good one. Yeah, I and Rob, Robin says she loves clasps because they look elegant. Clasps, like that one clasp on the front cover of the book of my book. That thing, because I had to go buy it for retail one day when I was doing the photo shoot. I paid like 30 flipping dollars for that. Wow. They're not cheap. Like the nice ones, like especially if they're sterling silver or whatever, they're not cheap. The button ones like these guys, they're not, they're not very expensive. In fact, I should add some of those to the site. I have some. They have, they have this there's a guy that, guy that um, um, it's, it's, it's makes Peter Beck and they're and really, they're cute. really cute. He makes what? I can, I can pop. Peter buttons. buttons. He makes pewda buttons. Joan. P -E -W -E -R -E -R. He makes pewda buttons. Joan. P -P. <laughs> oh my God! From my lips to God's ears, Joan. Come on now. Come on now. I can't. I talk can't to talk that. That. <laughs> Oh my God. All right. Well, I'm so appreciative that y'all showed up. Didn't I say that already? And we're still here. <laughs> I think I think we're going to say goodbye. goodbye, 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 goodbye. It's just that we're we're the people at a party where, like, if you think you're going to leave, you're not. You're not. You're not going to leave. If Joan and I are there, it's never going to end. And if Ginger's there. You know, Ginger and I'll say goodbye on the phone, the phone and, 45 and 45 minutes later, minutes later we're still, we're still on. on. Oh my God. <laughs> that that that's besties though. That's besties. 
I think I think, no, I think no, a lot, I think of, people a lot of people are avoiding because, because of that. Of that. <laughs> You know, call me. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've ever called you. I text you. Yeah, we always text. Yeah, <laughs> and then I think, I think that's the. This is what it is. Where we text and we DM and we text and we DM, and then we finally see each other, and we're just like, Caddy. We're just like, you know, yeah. We like, can oh, talk God, what you oh my God, what happened? What you did? What? Oh my God, look at what I did. Oh my God, no way. Oh my God. Like, <laughs> that's us. Hey, we're that trying to bring everything, everything into, into five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> yeah. And then the people come back and watch these and they're just like, what the hell? <laughs> what are they what on? Are they on? Not the actual. Oh, my God. Right? Oh my Who needs to get high when you have, when you have jewel in? Right. right. <laughs> when, you, when you have beads, who needs it? I mean, we need my Chardonnay. Need my Chardonnay. But... All right, I gotta go because I'm sure this dog needs to go and hump okay, somebody's okay. leg and say hello somewhere. Good night, everybody. All right, love you guys. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs>